Good day, Dano friend. Oh, and also the song just restarted. Great, great, perfect timing. So, welcome to episode, I don't know, four of me rambling about Build a Boat for Treasure and the things that I think should be changed if you want to have more people play the game and keep people interested. Um, in this series, I speak about like basically the problems of Billboard for Treasure, and I hope the developers will listen, change them, and then I think, yeah, the game will just be better, in my opinion. Definitely leave a comment if you agree or disagree, or if you have any ideas, and we can try to bring these ideas to Chill Thrill or whoever is still currently working on the game, and I think the game will just be much better. Today I want to talk about creativity, because in build a boat you, ha you have to be kind of creative, right? Because you have to build a boat yourself. Just like, you can be creative, make anything you want. Just like this thing that I made in a live stream one time. Very good boat, guys. This is an amazing boat. You have never seen a boat this good, obviously. <laughs> why did I make this? I don't know why I made this. I don't know why I made this. Anyway, here's my opinion. Here's my opinion. You don't have to agree. All right. But here's what I think. You don't have to be creative. You shouldn't have to be super creative to play Build a Boat for Treasure. I think we've all seen it. You join a random server in Build a Boat for Treasure. Some people are building a titanic or something like this something random something creative and some people especially new players they're just sort of building a mountain of random blocks you know what i'm talking about it's just random concrete blocks with doors sort of glued to the side there's just it's just a pile of random blocks because they don't really know how to make a good boat and i think a lot of people don't really care and they're not super creative they don't feel like being creative right now the game is of course very much made for people who are creative um like me and maybe like you who like to just think of things and build those things but what if build a boat for treasure was way more accessible to people who aren't that creative and who don't feel like being creative because you don't have to be you know sometimes i hear people talk about like oh if you're not creative like like as if there's something wrong with that if you don't feel like being creative and you just want to play a simple game without having to be creative i think that's fine and i think it's kind of a problem that build about for treasure doesn't really allow those people to play the game as much so here is for instance something they could change right hear me out if build a boat for treasure would create um kind of like blueprints that you could load up so build a boat for treasure let's say if in the menu build a boat for treasure would have like uh an extra button that says blueprints or prefabs whatever you want to call it and if you click on that it will automatically load up one of the boats that were in the menu and you don't have to think of a boat to make for instance the thumbnail boat right build a boat for treasure has this uh has this thumbnail boat where do i have it okay hang on i'll load it up while talking build a boat for treasure the thumbnail boat does is it still in the thumbnail it is still in the thumbnail right hang on Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The thumbnail boat. So let's say if, of course, you will need to have the blocks, in my opinion. Like, this is not when you have zero blocks. You can just click load and get this boat. Like, you would need to have the uh, either the blocks or it would say you can unlock this blueprints for this prize. And then the prize would be however this many blocks would cost. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think that would be a great way to do it. Most of us, if, if you're hearing this, a lot of people are going to be like, but no, don't do it like that because that's not creative. But I'm talking about making the game more accessible to people who don't feel like being creative. Of course, there's always going to be different games for different people. Like if you don't like princess stuff you're not going to play royale high if you don't like shooting games you're not going to play arsenal and 
in a similar way, you could say, oh, if you don't feel like being creative and building your own boat, you don't play build a boat for treasure. But personally, I think it's always good to open the game up for more players, even those who don't feel like being creative. Oh, my bacon has no face anymore. Even those who don't feel like being creative. And yeah, so I think having this uh, blueprint system would be really cool. I could make a bigger video about it, sort of creating like what it would look like. Uh, sort of like, yeah, making a video on what it would look like. Like <laughs> you, you open the menu, you click on it, you load up the boat. I don't know, I think it would be really cool. But right now I'm just talking about this issue that basically there's a giant group of people that is excluded from the game. Um, and it kind of makes sense, but when you really think about it, isn't it the more the better? If we want to keep build a boat for treasure alive as long as po possible, I think it's the more the better. In every way possible, the game sh should be accessible to as many people as possible. And I think some people would just enjoy being able to load up a pre-built -pre boat sometimes maybe there could even be a marketplace where people could build boats and then other people could build them uh could buy them for gold and then they would like like let's say i build a boat uh let's just do the same one again why not oh yep there we go let's say we take the bacon again like i'm like okay this is finished now i'm i'm putting it on the marketplace and Every time someone else goes through, like, let's say there would be an extra button. Marketplace, you look, scroll through it, you would see all these boats. You would see this boat, you would like, you would be like, oh, that's pretty cool, I kind of want that. You would click buy, you would click buy, and it would say how much it costs is however many, however much these blocks cost. So, I don't know, it's mostly plastic, I don't know what plastic costs. Um... 50 300 for 50 okay let's say this would cost a few thousand gold and then i would get like one percent of that as a bonus for having made that sale or something i don't know that could be a very interesting system anyway i'm thinking in solutions too much this video is supposed to be more about the problem i think personally build a boat for treasure should be more open to people who aren't that into building i know it's literally in the name of the game I know it's literally in the name of my channel and me, Buildosaurus. But even though I like building, my opinion isn't that everyone has to like building. And if someone just had one, even if it's one day, you just don't feel like building anything. You just want to load up something, but you're new to the game, so you don't have anything to load up. I don't know. I think it would be cool if there would be more options for people like that. So... I don't know. That's what this video is about. Let me know in the comments once again if you agree with this, disagree. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Green and Carl, for sponsoring this video. Don't forget Stomp, like a dinosaur. Stomp, 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 stomp. Bye, 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 bye.